move on to block and books bootstrapping from our starter project. Okay, now let's get our hands dirty uh, by uh, implementing our uh, crypto 2048 game. Uh, first, we need to bootstrap our project um, uh, to get uh, to make uh, make all our participants easier to start. I prepared this repo uh, as a starter project. Uh, from this project, you can uh, clone uh, because this is a public project, so you can clone use uh, HTTPS. Or you can fork this project and clone uh, from your own con account. Since I am the owner of the repo, I can clone this repo. Just with uh, git. Oops. Uh, then. After the clone succeed, uh, uh, we need to install the dependencies. Uh, I am using yarn, and uh, you can also use uh, npm install. So, uh, oops, I forgot to switch to my uh, repo and yarn. Then we need to create a .env file. The file uh, content should be like this. And uh, later I will work through the key paths of this file after uh, we have successfully installed the dependencies. The, de the dependencies may take some time uh, to install, depends on your uh, network. Then we need to uh, touch the env file. Then let's open the current directory with our Vero Studio code. Let's open this file and paste in the configurations. There are there are a few uh, very important configurations configurations here uh, for the Mongo UI. Uh, this is the connection string of MongoDB. Uh, that you can change to uh, uh, running MongoDB instance. And uh, here are the chains uh, that this game should connect to. The, uh, the config can be divided into two chains. The first chain is the local chain, which is uh, where the game coin lives on. Um, I have configured it to point to my uh, to my local uh, chain started with blockchain manager. You can see it from here. The local chain. 8105. And the other one is the foreign chain, which where uh, which is where the native uh, token lives. The port is 8106. Uh, and uh, another important side note about this is that you uh, should change this IP address to your local address and uh, this one. All these should be the same. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the, uh, use the, uh, run the app local successfully. And another uh, important config is the app as key and uh, you should not change this. If you know how to do that, uh, you can do that, I think. Let's save this file. And then uh, we need to do some preparation uh, for the app. Let's run a script from the repo. This script helps us uh, declare account on the two, chain, two blockchains. Uh, this is because uh, on the local chain, uh, our game account uh, will be able to sell game coins. Uh, so there must be account. And on the uh, foreign chain, our uh, game uh, must have account to 
receive native tokens, so it should have accounts on both chains. This script helps us do that. If you are curious about what this script does, uh, it's here. It's just the same tool, declare transactions with Forge SDK. And then uh, we, sh we should uh, fund our uh, game account with some game coins from our APT wallet. Let's demo to you how to do that. Uh, let's come back to the APT node and uh, open our blockchain, the public interface of Blockchain Explorer and uh, fill in the two endpoints, grab your endpoints of the two chain, of the local chain and the foreign chain, and let's switch to the local chain. And from here, let's find our uh, game account, the account address. Is here. Let's search for it. Okay. And uh, if if you uh, uh for the account balance, you can see that it's more than one point uh open uh zero point one billion. So we don't need to uh, uh fund this account to for for later operation. Uh, if if your uh, if the account balance is zero on your local chain, you should do uh, click this button and scan the QR code with your empty wallet and click transfer and transfer like ten thousand play from your moderator account to this game account. The transfer should be confirmed very fast. This, that's it. And another preparation work uh, we need to, to do is get a native token account. Uh, that's where uh, the blockchain boarding gate comes into play. We should, uh, we can provide its GraphQL endpoint. Here and then click choose blockchain and scan the code and then get some test token, although it's not required. Uh, I'm getting this error because I already did this. Okay. And uh, uh, you can check the native token account from here. The balance should be 25. Okay. And the preparation uh, is done.